this episode of the Barra Swap series, ZD's coming out, and we should be able to get the Barra in, at least to mock it up, so let's see how we go. So here's where I'm at, I've um, got most of the bottom bell housing bolts out and loose. I've just got to do the, the starter one up in there. Um, so that's what I've done underneath. Found a little cheeky one at the back here. Um, taken the slave cylinder off too. That's all come off. Right yeah, so the starter motor is now out. I'm just going to try and get this out. The hard one handed. So all that's left now to do is the top bell housing bolts, which I can't actually see yet. So uh, this could be fun, I've got to just disconnect the transmission loom. And that's it, so let's get to it. Just inside the cab of the patrol at the moment, um, I've realised that in order to get this gearbox out, I'm going to have to get access to the top of the box, which I can't get to from underneath. I'm going to try pulling all the gear sticks around out uh, in order to get to that, and if I can't, then I'll drop the, the gearbox cross member down, and uh, we'll go from there. I was hoping I might be able to get to something from up here, but I don't think that's going to be the answer. Definitely going to have to drop that box down and uh, and do it that way, but I might still be able to use in here in order to get to those little housing bolts. I won't joke, and when five minutes of fun turns into five years of mud falling on your head, it's just constant. I found a couple more bolts I didn't actually realise were in here. There's a, this bracket here that's welded under the chassis. There's one, two, and one more on the back, so just got to get them off. And then this whole trans should, should drop, sorry, trans gearbox should, should drop down. Alright, so I've dropped this box down. It hasn't dropped down a lot, it's probably dropped down an inch or so. Um, might just be enough to, to get in there, which I think it is. So I can't actually see the bolt from here. So what I've done is I've set up my phone. I don't know if you can see it, but that right there on the video is the um, this is the bolt head. All right, so so be it just there with the focus thing is on. Is the bolt will slide it down here. It goes on there. And from there, I think I've already cracked this one, so, so that's sitting on that bolt still. Yeah, this is the one I cracked already, so this one's already loose, so spin this one out. I've got the socket in there, and just on the camera there, I don't know how well it's going to focus or work on the GoPro, but that's the socket head just moving on the right there. And that's on the bolt head, so I'm gonna try and get this out. They are really tight, which is good, I guess. 
this. Alright, so now, now what I have to do is put a jack underneath the front of the transmission to hold that, and then under engine mounts, pull it out. So, oh, and um, power steering line, I have to pull that off. But I might actually just pull it out with the reservoir, might be easier. So, I'll pull one off of the reservoir, the other one I have to pull off. So I was just going to pull the lines off the pump, but there's only two 12mm bolts to pull it off, so just pull that off, tuck that out of the way. Um, all the bell housing bolts are out, so it's just engine mounts now, so I'll get underneath, disconnect them, and um, after that we'll take the bonnet off and she'll come out. Key now. Hey Luke, what's going on? Yeah, not much. Just trying to get the patrol motor out. You want to give me a hand? Yeah, you're right. Eh? Cheers, man. See you soon. Catch, man. Wait. Just waiting for a mate. Alright, well that's the ZD out. Alright guys, it's day two. I'm a little less dirty now and um, we've got the ZD out. So it was um, not too bad pulling this out. Keen gave me a massive hand getting this out. So it was, was good to have a friend to give me a hand to get this out. So um, this motor's done a fair bit of work. So I reckon it does deserve a bit of a send off. So I'll insert some footage here of this thing doing, um, doing what it did. So we'll. Um, I'll get into that now, he's a ZD30 montage.
back into barrel land. So the barrel's all actually in there at the moment. We've just sat it in the engine bay um, and I've put two bolts through the bell housing um, just to try and mock up a little bit of how it's going to sit. I have noticed that the input shaft and the transmission will probably have to be trimmed as I can't get the motor to sit flush in the bell housing. It's just rocking left and right. So I'm pretty sure it's a, a common issue that a lot of people have had with these. So you do have to trim back the input shaft. Um, what else? So it is a little close at the back of the firewall where the heater pipes run. Um, apparently some people have, have knocked them out and um, made clearance for it. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can do. I haven't, I haven't got the cross member bolted in from when I removed it yesterday. Um, that's an absolute pain to get out, but um, it's out now. So that cross member is not bolted back in yet, so I don't know 100% how much clearance I'm gonna have. So just thought I'd go over how I've got it sitting in the engine bay at the moment. I just wanted to trial fit it really. So, there you go. So, just sitting on the front panide rod. Um, I'm to go underneath further. It's got a jack under here. This is the gaff I'm talking about. I've still got this gap here, but I did realize just before, after I dug through the rest of the parts in the Castle Main Rod Shop box, there's actually a flex plate that goes in here. It was at this moment that Benjamin knew he... <laughs> the stupid me didn't find before. So, that will probably take up that gap, but we'll just double check um, all those measurements that they're all saying about online and all that and make sure that's all good. This exhaust is going to have to come off. I'm probably just going to remake it from that joiner just there. Um, not 100% sure how that's going to run yet. This is just a 3 inch pipe, so to start off with this is going to be fine I think. I can't see why not. So the engine mount, I didn't remove, so this is going to be the, this is the Falcon engine mount just here, that's going to have to be um, taken off and the Castle Main Rod Shop one goes from there and then this gets, so this will get um, grinded off and the new one will get welded on there, same thing for the, that one in there will get cut off, oops, that one there will get cut off where the shadow is, that will get cut off all along here um, and the Rod shot ones will get welded on. What else can I see from under here? Not much really, obviously you can tell it's the wrong sump because the other sump will have the rear hump, it'll come back here instead of sitting on, basically sitting on the dish here. So that's uh, just one thing I haven't done yet, but I have the sump over here. See if I can go find it. So yeah, what I'm doing in the, what I'm in the process of doing at the moment is taking this front cover off to redo the belly the um, front cover seal. I don't know, water pump and all that as well. We'll do the front main seal, do everything while it's there. Um, massive gap here. Literally just put it in. I wouldn't even say it was a test fit. I'd say it was just a bragging rights fit. Yep, the barrel's in. So here is the factory ZD mount that was on it, which I was talking about before, the um, mount had completely snapped through and that's the reason why all this was rubbing on here. So the fan was touching the fan shroud, it happened out at, um, at Love Day 4x4 Park in Renmark. I was out doing a rock climb and um, I just heard this ruckus coming from underneath the engine bay and pop the hood and yeah the fan was smashing the shroud so I was thinking that it was the, the radiator had moved or something, but the whole motor had propped up. Um, and it must have sat on this point or something like funny. Or well, it got locked on here. Because that's all. Actually, that thing's loose. I didn't even unlock that. Huh. There you go. This was my um, emergency outback fix. Actually, no, it was actually to go up the river, I think. But the bolts had snapped out of my AC compressor there. Um, I had to replace this bracket and then another one underneath broke as well. And you can't really see it where the, where the strap is. That one had broken as well, so I was like, screw it. I'll just ratchet strap it and send it. And it, it's actually held up pretty well. It's definitely held up, held up better than the, the factory one of these brackets with just three bolts in it, so. 
Alright, so another thing that I've gathered in the meantime has been a relay box and a loom for the BF computer. Um, so this has just got um, fuel pump relays, um, circuit breakers for electronics, uh, like the ECU and stuff like that. And uh, yes, yeah, so the two the two fan relays and the fuel pump relay are all in there. Um, a little bit of wiring for all of that. Um, the ECU plug. Um, I believe that is the plug for. I'm not quite sure if that one's on the ECU or not. I don't think it is on the ECU, but I'll figure it out later. Uh, so yeah, that's the ECU one. Have your OBD plug for your OBD two, and a throttle pedal plug. Um, and all the rest of it is all the stuff to do with that. So it's all for your, the speedo wire and stuff like that. So that's all got to be wired in as well. Um, big thanks to the mate who put this together for me. It was a real big help. Um, I really do appreciate it. It's um, a massive step forward into doing this build. So this is going to go in um, as well. So that's one thing. Other thing. One other thing you're going to need. Um, I'll open it up and I'll show you inside. There we go. So you got the three big large relays in the centre. They're all for the fans and fuel pump. Um, and then the two circuit breakers on the sides and in the middle are for the other stuff like ECU control and uh, I don't even know what the others would be but I'll, when I figure it out I'll, I'll let you know. So that's inside the, the control box. This will sit just underneath the Falcon computer in the back passenger side of the engine bay. Well that wraps up today's episode so um, what I'll be doing in the next episode is I'll pull the barrow back out and we'll do the sump and all that kind of stuff that's sitting down here. So should be doing it, yeah definitely a bit more wiring, cleaning up that engine bay, getting ready to fix the barrow in there for good. I also might be putting up a bit of an edit from Love Day 4x4, um, it was the Beyond Blue event, ARB event out there uh, the weekend just gone got some footage from that. I'll put that in a separate video and I'll upload that later. So next episode, yeah, we'll be putting the barra back on the stand. Um, I'll be pulling the sump off and changing it to the FG sump. Uh, doing some of the, the wiring that as well for the conversion, all of the stuff in the engine bay. We're going to rip all that out um, and go from there. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.